Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Diablo Shade of Ask Diablo Shade, and I'm bringing you a day in the life. So, if you're new to my channel, my channel is where mental health meets the millennial, but also a sprinkle of my micro locks journey and some travel vlogs here and there. And if you're also new to my channel, you don't know that I am literally. Will y'all stop, please? Hello, hey, hey, hey trying to create content over here <sighs> as you see we have dogs me and my dad so I have two and he has two but yeah so I'm getting I'm finishing up my doctorate hey stop I am currently finishing up my doctorate this semester I am I'm trying to get the words out. Y'all, I am slated to graduate this December um, with my doctorate in behavior health, and I am so excited. So I just want to show you a typical day in the life. Someone had asked me under one of my videos, and I've been putting it off, but I was like, why not? So today, I have a very busy day. I am also a therapist, and I, am in, I own my own private practice. Um, it is a virtual private practice. I'm licensed in five states. Today is Thursday, and I do not see clients on Thursday. So my off days are like Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. Yes, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Yes, those are my off days. So Thursdays, I do not see clients, but I'm always, I, I have a lot to do. And I go to school on Thursdays. So today, we will first be dropping off my my oldest my oldest baby she's two my pandemic pup um we'll drop her off at the vet today because she has to get her yearly rabies shot so we will be dropping her off at the vet and i need to go pay bills i need to pay myself first because as an entrepreneur you got to know to pay yourself so um i gotta go pay myself today so i need to go to the bank get so much money so i can pay my bills and then after that, I need to go renew my mailbox. Um, I get all my business mail to a UPS mailbox. Um, I like UPS because it actually gives you a street address. And um, that is better than a PO box to me because you can put it on different important documents. So I have to go renew that for the year. And then I need to go work on my dissertation. Y'all, I'm on the last chapter. I'm on chapter five of my dissertation, the conclusion. I am summing up all the work I've done. So I will be probably going to a Starbucks um, near a Moore's vet so I can work on that until they call me and tell me that she is ready. I might go have lunch to my mom, with my mom today. I'm not really sure, I think she wants to, we'll see. But I also have class this evening. So you can just see me kind of run errands today and see what a typical life in a doctoral student who is graduating looks like, who's also a business owner. I make up my own schedule, so I get up when I want to. I schedule things how I want to. Um, I got up pretty early today. I got up at like 5.30. But I didn't get out of bed till like 6.30. I kind of just laid there. Took the dogs on a little walk and then just started getting ready. I made my coffee. I haven't drank it yet, but it's ready for me. I'm ready for my coffee because I'm tired. And we have a long day. I don't get out of class until 9 o'clock tonight. So, yeah. Follow me along as I show you what a typical day in the life of me as an entrepreneur and a doctoral student. Let's go. Hey, Peanut. Hey, Peanut. So that is Amor. That's my oldest. Yes, y'all, the other ones are trying to get in the camera, but yes, that if y'all seen her before, that's my baby. And let's see my new baby. Hi, Pooh. This is Pooh, you guys. He's a Yorkie. Okay, Pooh is short for Pooh Shiesty. He's very energetic, if you cannot tell. Pooh Shiesty. Yes, I named my dog Pooh Shiesty. Okay, that's the Memphis in me. So, Pooh Shiesty did my dog. Cause Pooh, you know I'm really Shiesty. <laughs> See, get out the way. You're doing too much. <laughs> Girls, oh, look, y'all, there's too many dogs over here. This is my dad's dog, Pompey. He needs some attention, so let's give him some. Hey, Pompey. Hey, hey. And then Penny is somewhere else. So yeah, these are three of the four other members of this beautiful home. Hi, Pooh. Hi, Pooh. Yeah, you my baby. You're my big baby. Yeah, I'm a dog mom, y'all. Okay, so when I'm going to work on my dissertation, I typically just like to take my little tail fire bag, my tail feezy bag, and in my bag, I will typically have my laptop, my MacBook, 
Pro. Yes, good old MacBook Pro. And then, excuse all the cords, y'all. Trying to get my life together. Uh, my dissertation, I am a old spirit. So, although my dissertation is typed up, of course, it all began with notes and articles and research. Like, I have literally been writing in this, whoo, child, doing statistics, everything. My entire dissertation is here, okay? Um, in my bag, I also will take the APA manual, how we supposed to write and format our dissertation. I will take that so I can reference it to make sure that I am doing everything correctly into the standard of my committee. Um, what else? Oh, this is my regular notebook for my class that I'm taking this semester and the book that goes with that class, Integrative Behavioral Health and Primary Care. And then this is just the template um, of how our dissertation is supposed to be written. And I just keep that for reference as well. I keep my little Louis bag. Hold on, let's put that to the side. Keep my little Louis pouch here. And I just keep bookmarks, stuff in there, Lysol, pens, charger. And that's really it. That's all I take with me. I say that's all, but that's actually a lot. This bag is normally typically heavy, but that's all I take with me when I'm working on my dissertation. So we are at the bank and look who is riding shotgun. I think she knows she's going to the vet and she don't like it, but what else am I do? I'll give her a little pup cup from Starbucks. But yeah, my little rider. Hey, Peanut. Hey, hey, Peanut. Okay, uh-uh-uh, stay over there. Good job. So y'all, we done pulled up at the vet and she done started crying already. Oh, you're not gonna cry on camera, huh? You're not gonna cry on camera? Oh, okay, you see, you see how they do? Anyway, we pulled up to the vet, so let's be ready to take her in. Come on, Peanut, let's go. <laughs> So I just dropped a more off at the vet. And of course, as y'all saw, she showed her little butt because she doesn't like the vet. It's just like she already knows when we pull up, it's a problem. So she is getting her rabies shot. And while they have her, I'm gonna go and renew this mailbox. I done already went to both my banks. And then I'm gonna go here to Starbucks and go ahead and work on this dissertation. So. <sighs> Let's keep on getting through the day. Okay, so I've made it to Starbucks. I already went and renewed my mailbox um, for the year. So now I'm about to go work on my dissertation. I actually left my tripod in the car and I'm too late to go get it. So I'm gonna try to set this camera up for an angle so you can actually just see me working. <sighs> I need to eat first, y'all. I'm so hungry. I got this little expensive lunchable here. Eggs and glue protein box. So yeah, let me go tear this up and then we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Okay, I worked on some of my dissertation and now I'm gonna go do a little shopping for the house real quick at Kroger. Cause they didn't call me and let me know my child ready, but I'm gonna let them hold on to it for a couple more minutes so I get a couple of items. Okay, I am done grocery stop shopping. Well, I didn't even go grocery shopping. I had to get some items. Look what I got. I mean, from the dog treats to Sprite. Guess how much it cost me? Yes, I'm gonna give y'all a couple of seconds. 
do, 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 do. All right, time is up. It cost me $212. What in this basket? Sorry, I didn't even realize I had stopped recording because I was just such in disarray that I spent $212, okay? And really, I just bought cleaning supplies, which I should've got from the Dollar Tree. I bought some cosmetic stuff as far as like soap and uh, things like that. The dog treats, them big old bags of dog treats, if y'all could see them, they like $20 a bag. So they go $40, I bought two of those. I'm gonna put my own stuff in the poorhouse, spending like this, see, this is what happened. I got paid, I don't know how to act, okay? I paid myself and now I don't know how to act. Well, let's take my little grown behind home since I like to spend money like this. And we finna go eat, what, a can of corn after spending this money. Look who back, Bam! It's my little peanut. Hey, Amor. Hey, peanut. She's back, she did so good. She got a good report card. Cause last time she was the best, she showed a little butt. Thought they were gonna let us come back. But she did good. We finna go make one more stop, baby. And then we going home and I think I'm gonna give all four of them a bath because they were giving dog smell earlier. And then I'll get back to my dissertation and then I'll get ready for class. So y'all, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. I've literally been up since 5.30 and I'm just like, I'm exhausted, but that is that. That is the typical day of life. Why are you trying to run your errands and be an entrepreneur and be a doctoral student? But yes, let's get back to it. Just got out of the shower, got out of class, just got out of the shower, just finished putting my last few notes in on my dissertation for today and I'm dropping stuff. <sighs> today was a very busy day, um, but that's just kind of how it is. I use my off days to kind of run errands, do things for the business, um, and really just work on that dissertation. I think a lot of people might struggle in finishing their dissertation because yeah yeah i'm on prescribed acne medicine tread knowing if you know you know um they might struggle with doing their dissertation because they are not focused so if you notice that i took little breaks today but i made sure that i at least was writing today i probably wrote about five hours um, when I was at Starbucks, I did like two, and then I wrote my entire class. So literally, if I'm not writing, I'm researching, which that's still a part of it. So I do this, the writing part, like every day, if not every other day, that's how much I write, or that's how much I research, or that's how much I write notes. Like um, I work diligently on my dissertation. I've been working on it since January, of this year, like full throttle working on it like this. Maybe taking a week off here and there, but <sighs> I might take a week off maybe once every five weeks. I won't even say every six weeks, but once every five weeks, I'll take a week off and just let my brain rest. I'm not just, I haven't been doing it that long. So I've been doing it, what, nine, 10 months almost? Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing it about nine months now of truly just giving all my time to my dissertation. 
if y'all follow me on any social media platform, you see, I ain't been on social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I ain't been on there since January at all. I keep this uh, YouTube going because, baby, I'm trying to <laughs> get these coins. <laughs> okay, this is another stream of income. I'm trying to get these coins. So, yeah, that's why I've been consistent with that. But even here, I try not to be scrolling all day on videos. But, yeah. That's really it. That's how a typical day looks like for me. If you want to know what else I do to like diligently work on my dissertation, like what are the you know tips and tricks that I do, I can do a video on that. Y'all just let me know. Again, your girl supposed to be graduating in December. She got to stick. I got to write this last chapter, the conclusion. I got to get a date for when I defend. I got to defend, and then. After that, it's only up from here. Dr. Diablo is on the way. Thank you guys for watching A Day in the Life of a Doctoral Student, A Day in the Life of an Entrepreneur, Full-Time Entrepreneur. And I hope that this was fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.